morning you lovely people welcome back to my channel welcome to brand new vlog i think the last vlog that i uploaded was at the end of january and it was the december vlog that's how life is at the moment it's not that i don't want to vlog i really really enjoy doing this but our baby girl got sick and those who follow me on Instagram, and I'm gonna insert my handle over here, know that pretty well because I've been complaining about it non-stop. She's been sick since three weeks and we are on the way of bettering, which is a good thing, but she's still not healthy. Now she has an eye infection, which is another story. So like we have to do the drops. I don't know how other babies are, but our baby hates doing anything, which is involving her face so we have to wash her nose we have to do the drops so it's huge huge drama she's overall better she doesn't have fever her nose is less clogged we get a few hours of sleep together with her and many more but not to directly overwhelm you with all the baby content at the start i think i'm gonna say a calm hello i just have 10 minutes even though it looks like i have so much time even if it feels like that i'm calm i'm like my heart is pouncing inside right now because you probably saw at the intro my our morning has been pretty frantic today our cleaner decided to show up almost hour and a half earlier which means that we were not ready we were feeding the baby baby had to be prepared for nap which he is doing right now then usually falcon naps as well alongside leia because he's super tired he takes over leia in the morning for the first wake time i'm exhausted i want to nap which i did not do today instead i cooked then i wanted to get myself prepared for this vlog even if it's like five minute makeup <laughs> which probably shows because i'm just staying at home and i feel did like way too much makeup for home but I really did not have time to think about it quite a lot I just was like putting on leathering the layers and layers of it and now I just came down to quickly um, chat with you but I don't even know if I have time for that Ten forty one, you guys i'm having already fatigue it's morning and i'm having fatigue let's be strategic let's be efficient yesterday i was in the city in the afternoon we did not manage to go together uh, because it was not aligning with leia's naps at, at the moment she is sleeping so bad that we try to stay in the known environment so that she can sleep the best in the worst condition falco takes her out and makes her asleep in the arm so that we get that day nap um so that she doesn't go completely crazy at night there you go she cries so much to peaceful morning 
baby is awake again it feels like i'm complaining about it day and night but it's three weeks already and she still has clock and off so much so that she cannot sleep now she just napped 30 minutes and woke up trying to turn back her sleep in my arms but still and she just cannot breathe that's why we are where we are at honestly I feel so lost i really don't know how to help her and how long this should continue also it doesn't really feel like that it's like resolving anyhow <sighs> What was I saying? So because of all that, yesterday was the first day when I went to the city alone Even if I wish that it would have been like family trip like other people do But that somehow is not in cards for us Either we are too stressed making everything complicated or it's just complicated as a fact It was lovely afternoon for me and I strolled around the streets that I love in Hamburg It was not raining, it was one of the few days that doesn't get rainfall this week and yeah i just splurged on something that i wanted pretty long not that i need now because i'm sitting at home most of the time but it's something that i'm gonna cherish for the years to come and i know that i'm gonna be using it all the time like now when summer comes with linen trousers jeans dresses but also like when i start working again so i wanted to quickly show you that first and box together with you so this something is from Saint Laurent one of my favorite brands out there it's so elegant everything they do is so elegant this is just a accessory but I'm in love with their ready to wear with the clothing obviously I would not even have an occasion to wear them but like the blazers are just out of this world I think the last collections have been so so beautiful with big shoulders, masculine um, cuts but also the heels are like just superb I've been seeing it quite a bit on the internet and it's super expensive but I still am gonna mention I think the burgundy leather jacket that they had is just so beautiful if anyone's gonna do a dupe of it I'm not into dupes, you know, but I think I'm gonna jump on that because it's so, so beautiful. To be frank, I think I would not have gone and bought anything. Just felt like on a whim, on a rush decision. But do you know the feeling of like uh, having stress-induced indulgence i also have it i've been eating so much chocolates recently when i open a chocolate bar i am finishing it straight away muffins and cookies and i don't know everything and i've been feeling very bad about it but i cannot seem to stop it's like this constant state of fatigue sleeplessness i know everyone goes through it and you're gonna be thinking like rolling guys what are you talking about you have baby and we all go through it um, but yeah it's just taking a toll physically and mentally me and i think this like a rush of purchases which i've done as well for home and even this one was a bit more like to um bring the glimpse of happiness and satisfaction that comes with doing things you love or buying things you love i'm not justifying it but just saying i know i won't regret it but i know that in a normal situation i would have thought about it even longer but it is what it is let's um don't make it negative as well and enjoy the fact that it is here right now so they wrapped it beautifully in the box Leia is so cute sitting and looking at me yeah here we have the box here is the pretty belt with silver hardware I thought this looks so minimal very little logo over here let me show you quickly how it looks So I think I'm gonna try it later in the day with other trousers, how it looks because the sales associate told me that I have 14 days return policy. I was not sure if the 70 centimeter one was the right one for other trousers. Not all of the trousers are so high waisted as the skirt that I was wearing yesterday as well. Anyhow, I'm super happy that I have it. I know that it's a keeper. I know that it's a classic. I know that I'm gonna be loving it even in 10 years time. Another thing that I got is a simple, white t-shirt with a wee cut in front because ever since we have Leia both Falgo and I have been staining our t-shirts like crazy and I don't know we are trying <laughs> everything on and beyond like super harsh detergents for bleaching those spots but somehow they don't come off yeah I just cannot once I've noticed that there is a stain on it which I cannot take off I cannot keep it I cannot wear it few new things and relocations at home as well I don't know if you have seen these flowers, very pretty. This was my Valentine's Day 
gift from Falgo. I wished a few things and he had options to choose. That's from George Jensen. I saw this picture in Copenhagen two years ago or three years ago when we were there. I really, really loved all the creations of him and have been seeing it ever since on internet. But it was always something that I could not justify paying money for because this little picture cost quite a bit when you think about it. Anyhow, that's what I got and I really loved how pretty is that can you even see it mirrors it is chrome and made of one metal you don't really have any connecting part gorgeous and i also brought this hay design table lamp here we have a new vase as well i really 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 love this one so much it's the canyon vase by Heinz studio this massive crystal glass a vase and every time i would get bouquet with shorter stem i was having huge trouble to allocate them in any vase anyway i really really love this one so it's gonna be over here for the time to come this little one is entertaining herself with a nose sucker she hates the process of nose sucking but definitely approves as a toy here is a package that needs to be sent out today. You probably saw me packing it. Um, it's the nursing pillow that I almost never used and finally managed to sell. Uh, so it's gonna be going to the new owner and I hope so much that she's gonna get better use out of it than I did. You saw the mess of morning. So can you believe that it's looking that clean at the moment. Another homeware item that I got also this month is this water pitcher as well. Maybe you can see it now. It's just little details that make it so special. Both of us are very bad at drinking water. We are always forgetting it. So this is a little helper in that sense because I fill it up in the morning and I know this is the bare minimum that I have to drink until end of the day. Yeah, let me know what you think about those pieces. She has been making progress as well. She's like on the pre-crawling stage, lifts herself up on the knees, which is a very new development. I just tried on the t-shirt as well for you to see. It has this v-neck, as I told you, is regular fit. So a little bit wide, I have it tucked in, but it has this length. And then there is the belt. It is later in the day, I'm preparing myself matcha because I'm feeling like falling asleep. I was sitting in the dark with Leia holding her because I wanted that she sleeps a bit longer and typical of her, she woke up in the middle. I almost roasted myself while having baby in the arm, so I realized I had to put her back down and um, yeah, sort my situation with something. To do's for today are the vacuum cleaning of downstairs. We already have two floors vacuumed, which is a big thing. Now we have a new robot. It's called Dream, Dreamy. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go quickly up, show it to you as well. And um, whilst that probably runs down, I'm gonna show you my favorite products of the month that um, are new also at home. My little one. Are you getting a beauty slip away from everyone? And most importantly from Squirmy lay a little one, right? This is the robot that we got. As you can see, the station is a lot bigger than the previous one, but it neatly fits into this corner. It's in Falco's office so that I don't get to see it very often because such utility items were ever annoying me very, very lot and I prefer them stored somewhere away. But the whole point of such robots is that they are accessible and they can start straight away. So putting them behind the closed doors is not the idea. Anyhow, what is cool about this one is that it has also a water tank. It uh, wets the floors, which we don't do that often because of real wood, but once in a month it's a good thing. I just changed to a little bit cozier but warmer clothes. We have been like crazy opening windows to let fresh air in so that it helps Leia as well to breathe. It's very bad weather outside, it's raining. Little cardigan will do for chilly temperatures. I also tried the belt with other trousers. I'm thinking about it. I'm very glad that I made this impulsive purchase. It won't stay impulsive at all. By the way, have I shown you this big dramatic branch that I got for my vase? Look how pretty it is. It started to bloom and it is 
very, very, very pretty. The more dramatic it is, the better for me. Um, I think I'm the only one who buys at my florist such branches because she often asks me if I want something that she would order it. Ah, just cannot get enough of it. Each time I sit here, I just try to imagine how pretty it would look to have a armchair over here and then have a standing mirror over there. I'm gonna insert pictures of the items that I've been dreaming about since years. How are you, baby? I hope you have your hot drink with you because a few products that I want to show you that I've been loving over the course of past month. I went back to Origins. I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in number two. I have had this one, have been loving it. I even had a dedicated video on my channel uh, reviewing this product with the application. I'm gonna link it somewhere here. When it comes to foundations, I'm always careful because I don't know if I'm gonna like. So far, it has been successful. The previous one that I dared to get was the Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This was in number two, neutral. To be frank, slightly darker shade than my face, so it was really good in summer, but in winter months I felt like that the color was not exact match. I don't love to have only one foundation at home because I don't know what type of day it's gonna be, how much time I have, so I love to have foundation stick with me um, and to have like liquid foundation as well. Also, it gives me some sort of anxiety to know like I might run out of something even though I can obviously check how much is left. Right now, I really don't have time for like following up on things and ordering them on time. So I, it's not that I was not having any foundation at all. There is tiny bit left in here. And I also have this hourglass one in shade Alabasta. Yeah, the good thing about the stick foundation is that you can use on particular spots and then just blend it out. This one is beautiful, really stunning. It blends out so well and is very thick, like has really good cover coverage. Remember that I got this one from Falco for Christmas when we decided to do like four advent gifts. Um, same thing, I wrote a big list of products that I would want to have and one of them was this and he chose this one. Another makeup item is this Rare Beauty blusher in color encourage i think this is the limited edition color if you don't know the rare beauty brand is by selena gomez we have been watching her uh, tv series only murders in the house <laughs> they are short they are funny and i don't know somehow got me into the mood of trying out her products i know that many people have been comparing the beauty products of selena gomez and i think the wife of what is the wife of Justin Bieber called? Mm, I forgot it, but the brand called the brand is called Road. Reviews and have been saying that Rare Beauty is second to none in terms of quality. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through this tube because this product is so pigmented. I just use one tiny drop here and another here and it feels like my cheeks are on Higher. It also has a little heart in the middle, so when you press it against your face, it leaves a little heart shape. How cute is that? Last um, semi-beauty makeup product, I would say beauty more, it's like Lip Balm by Hermes. I love this one so much that this is all that is left. Just gives you beautiful sheen and feels so calming on the lips. It's in color rose confetti. Good thing about those is that you can buy the refiller so that you don't have to pay another, I don't know, 70 euro for the lip balm. Okay, let me put you a little bit up. Okay, rest of the products are skincare and hair care products. I love my hair protection spray by Moroccan oil. I've been using this every single time i think more so that i did highlights in georgia this time there was a new hairdresser i am really unsatisfied the way he did it first that it's a lot lighter than i asked him to make my highlights i don't know what you think about it let me know in the comment section below but also because he went like straight on into this blondy color it's not really blonde but you know like quite significantly bleached 
um, my hair got quite a lot of damage so I really need to use this heat defense spray every time I have contact with any hair styling tools or even hair dryer another thing that I use for my hair is this red can color extent blondage um, I got it once again because it really helps with retaining the color without getting this orange undertone and the third hair product is this dry shampoo if your mom you know what I'm talking about let's be frank I don't get time because in its styling in its dry masking so this is what I reach for and there goes the volume another product is this Tatcha serum stick I have heard about Tatcha quite a lot but I think the products are not available in Europe they are in America and my friend my Georgian friend was in America and she got this for me when she was visiting us in Tbilisi she brought it and I've been loving it ever since it feels very hydrating and very calming another thing is this ordinary retinoid in squaline I don't know if I showed you this one it still has quite a lot because I've been careful using it but I did not have any reaction a lot of people reported that the squaline gave them um, some outbreak I've been using it sparsely but I feel like that it has made a difference when it comes to my perioral dermatitis then I have two face cleaning product this one is in milk form um, I've never heard about this brand I just asked Falgo to bring something from the pharmacy because I did not have anything left and he brought this Thermosense apparently for most of the skin types it's great I can't say anything bad about it there is something about balm cleansers I was obsessed with the clinic um, take the day off balm cleanser for a while and another one that I've been loving is this pharmacy I love this one comes with the little applicator and the very last product is this Vichy face UV protection cream truth being told I'm very bad at applying the sunscreen and that definitely shows off I have bad discoloration marks that I got a few years ago when we were in Italy and it's not going away I probably need to laser it off but it's another topic for another day after that I got so scared that I've been trying to be a good girl and use it more frequently I got this Vichy um, as a tester or as a gift it's fluid it doesn't leave the white film on the face it's so so good I just can recommend it hands up it's 50 plus those are the products that I've been loving recently and that I wanted to tell you about you know what I've been thinking about how um Anytime you post something online that there is a level of fakeness to it even simple fact that I'm wearing makeup entire day today even though I've not stepped outside and it's dreadful weather shows how unreal things are well there is obviously level of performance to doing things for social media and it is okay we also want to show ourselves from the good angle but sometimes I think that I don't because all I do is like make myself unsympathetic with the statements and the complaints that I'm having about this year especially about motherhood and then I'm thinking um, how even there I am being fraud and I'm like showing only just one angle when it comes to motherhood I really love to rent when I have my lows but I rarely show my highs one because we decided not to show like baby content that much especially her face I just shared it with a few of my friends in the closed group that's you know like bummer so you don't get to see all the giggly good happy moments and there are plenty of it every single day and I look at her and I love her and I'm thinking how happy I am to see and witness her grow and I'm so curious what type of person she's gonna become and what is my role in it and how I can contribute to it and I'm trying to improve myself to better myself by the way the book that I am currently reading and I have many more in queue is uh, the whole brain child the way brain works 
and why kids react the way they react and um, yeah even if I feel like that a lot of approaches are something you would sort of do anyway as a normal person but the explanation why it is good to do this way and how different spheres and parts of brain interact um, to make us complete this whole interconnected approach in the child's brain is a very interesting thing once again derived from the main message but what i wanted to say is that it, this journey is like full of ups and lows and don't believe the one side that you get to see even if i try to be as truthful as i can be about everything good and bad you only get to see part of it and this part is filtered and framed version of uh, the reality. I just come to talk about it here because that's my medium. It doesn't mean that this is all that is to it. I think if anything, parenthood is oxymoron, contradiction of feelings, of highs and lows, um, of good and bad. Yeah, it is just crazy. What's also not real is that I'm lying in the bed right now. This is not how our days look most of the time. It's because last night has been one of the rough ones. I was literally sitting like this, having her on my laps. And that's how we spent half of the night. Because every time I would try to lay her down next to me, she would totally freak out. I don't know exactly. We are slightly worried, not that she got the cat allergy. Um, well, she did not have before, but it might emerge at some point because it's been three weeks and as told she still struggles to breathe even though we wash her nose three, four times a day. We've been giving once a day nose spray even though it's not actually allowed for such small babies to give continuously nose drops. Her eye infection is not settled as well. Just pray for us that it is not the case. Well, cats are secure, don't worry. They won't be rehomed no matter what, but... Um, it would break my heart if it's the case and I just feel broken in my entire body. So Yeah, Falco has been gold today That he's covering up for me. They are downstairs playing on the mat And I'm just trying to relax my back and also do what I love to do um, Vlog. I think I'm gonna close eyes. This vlog is gonna be a whole a lot of nothing let me know if you made it up to here i would be really curious how many of you watched the vlog up until to the end and yeah it always motivates me to film more you know it's not easy even if i love doing this to find time and to know that you are watching this content and are on board with me attuned with me is definitely very helpful so I'm gonna wish you a lovely, lovely week ahead and um, I'm gonna see you in my next one.